Nicole here and welcome to another video. As you can see, I've just received some new gear and it's building off of some of the items that I already have in my kit. I wanted to show you kind of an unboxing of what you receive with the Flashpoint system. This is the Explorer 600 Pro TTL. If you saw my video from last week, you noticed that I was talking about my one light system. Well, now I have a second light. I'm gonna unbox it, set it up and show you and work with a two light setup. Here we go. So it's holiday time right now and the Flashpoint system is out of the Adorama site and this is not a sponsored post. I just thought it would be helpful to see, okay, if you purchase this bundle, what are you really receiving? What it looks like, how to set it up so then you're off to the races and getting some great photography in 2022. All right, so with this bundle, I received the light, which is here. I have the C stand and we have the modifier. So this modifier, if you had seen my last video, I'll add it here. Um, the glow system that's Flashpoint, so it's kind of in the family, um, the light itself has a Boeing's mount. So you don't have to use these modifiers, but it came with the kit. This is a 28 inch versus the 38 inch I showed you in that previous video. All right, so let's first unbox the modifier. Okay. All right, so these are attachments. So if you wanted to have a speed light or they also have smaller, I think it's the Flashpoint 200 that could work on um, this type of light stand. They have those attachments for you. And let's get, let's open this. Okay, so we have the internal white um, diffuser. Then we have, let's see. Oh, this is the, this is saying the 28. Look how small it is, it's so cute. Versus my 38, which I have on my light right now. And if you also had seen that last video, you know that I use this light on the modeling light setting to light these videos. So it's a great kind of universal. I not only use it on location for um, my brand photography and portrait sessions, but it's also have, has been great for these videos. So this is the size of the 28. I bought this second light and thinking that I'm gonna use it as either a fill light, hair light. My 38 will be my main light. It's the same actual lighting system, but the modifier is much bigger. It will spread more light versus this is a smaller one. Um, so you have the actual modifier, you have the diffuser that we'll put inside, and then this is an extra, um, it comes with a great travel bag, which I use all the time with my 38. All right, so let's set this up. So, in the back of the 28-inch 28 mo 28 modifier, this is an accessory for, I was mentioning, if you have like a speed light or maybe one of their smaller lights, this is the piece that we're going to attach to the back of the modifier. It will stay there when you collapse it down. It will always be with the modifier, so you only need to do this once. Okay. So this is basically what the Boeing's mount. These, there's four little uh, plastic tabs here. This is how you're going to release the pins when you wanna break down the modifier. So this is going to be facing you and the silver side will be facing in when you're setting this up. 
you have all these white little pieces and they have a little groove in the middle, which is where you're going to add the post, okay? So I'm gonna go like this. Doesn't wanna go in there, okay? Come on, there we go, all right. And then we're just gonna make our way around. You'll see these little hooks here. That's for the other part of the modifier. And we're just going to go opposite. Sometimes when you put these together, you wanna be on opposites and it makes it a little bit easier. So I am. Last two tend to be always tough, but this one clicked in already, so it's making a little bit. Spend, there we go. This one's locked in too. So we're just gonna bend a little bit, pop it up, and get that last one in there. Okay, all right, so now I'm just gonna clip all the other ones. So when I, if I was on location, and this is already put together. This is how you would typically just snap it in. But I find it easier when you're building them, kind of just have them loose, gives a little bit more forgiving. And since this is the first time it's being opened, then um, it's a little bit, a little bit tougher. But this is now the inside of the 28 inch modifier. And this is just an extra they give just in case um, maybe one breaks as well. So now we have the internal, the white piece, the white diffuser for this. You can certainly shoot this way if you wanted to, but I like to have the diffuser. So there's two pieces. At the very top of the diffuser, the 28 inch, you'll feel some Velcro. That's for the piece that has the Velcro. And the second one, you see all the snaps. You'll see maybe like a quarter of the way down, there's all snaps going along the edge as well. Um, I wanted to also point out before we jump to these, in inside of the modifier, you'll see that there's all these white little hooks and there's little, um, there's little white hooks on the actual um, Bowen's mount that we just added, but then there's white little elastics next to it. Simply take your a little elastic and you're just gonna hook it around inside here. Why we do this is when we, sh when we close it up, the exterior part of the modifier isn't gonna go flying off and it all stays intact so that it's easy to open up once you're on location or setting up in your studio with your modifiers. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around here. Just gonna quickly add the elastics and then we'll finish the modifier and open the next box. All right, last one. Okay, so now all those hooks are... All right, on to the next one, which is the snaps. So we're just going to run around the edge. Okay, so now we have that internal diffuser in there. That looks great. And now the Velcro piece. So I'm just going to unravel it. And basically you can kind of tell where there's each little section since obviously it's not 
circle. So I'm just going to line up and obviously you can break this apart, break it down if you need to. But this is great because you can keep everything that we just built intact. You don't have to do this when you're setting up for your photo shoot. If you're going on location, you can just pop this open and it'll be just added to the light. Okay, almost there. Quick setup, really easy to put together. And here we go. So closing the modifier, I remember when I first got the 38 inch, I was very wary of how to close it, but with about three years of practice with that, I just wanted to show you. So you have your four little um, pieces of plastic here, these four little handles. And I am assuming the first time I do this, it might be pretty tough, but as you do it um, more often, it'll get easier. So I'm just going to, with some good force, I'm just going to snap them together. So see how we heard one snap and only part of the umbrella sort of deflated? You really want two snaps, so I'm just gonna do it again. And you heard that second snap, and now the whole thing can fold down. I just tuck this in. I use the little um, umbrella, I mean, the, I use a little Velcro if I need to. Um, sometimes I don't because it comes with this great bag that I will then put inside here. And I'd be ready to then pack up the rest of my gear. But we're gonna set the whole thing up, so I'm just going to keep this open into the side for now. All right, that's the modifier. Let's look at the light stand, then go to the light, and then put it all together. So here we have the light stand box. Now, I've always had Avenger light stands. They are my black light stands that maybe you have seen. So this is a different um, light stand. I believe it's gonna be like a silver. It's always good to, I'm excited about having an additional C-stand in my kit. I've had my others since I started 10 years ago, so this will be great. Okay, oh, this looks nice. All right, so, and it comes with a boom. Okay, so here we go. It already comes with your knuckle um, part and a boom, which is really great. Let me take this off so you can get a closer look. Wow. So you can see it's not the black. It has this really great grip right here, which is nice. So you can see all the different components. This is the boom stick, which looks great. Okay, so that's the main part. Then I can feel it under here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, and it comes with an extra um, knuckle piece, which is here in a shorter, looks like a little add-on boom. That's always nice. And then this is the base. All right, so let's just put this together. Let's see, this is how I always open my light stand, so I'm just gonna do it the usual way. Here we go, nice. So you will see, these are how it kind of locks together, like a puzzle piece. So one part of this whole lighting bundle that I have here, I have a light, a modifier, a C-stand, is a sandbag. I always have that combo. So when I'm building a lighting setup, I always have my sandbag and I always put it on this longer arm. When you're looking down onto a C-stand, 
you'll see that there's kind of um, differences with the little legs that come out. I always place it on that, the largest arm. Okay, and now I'm just gonna open this up a little bit so it can seed in nicely because it was a little closed. Okay, all this looks good. Don't wanna hit anything up above. All right, we're in business. Awesome. This is so great. It's nice to have this soft grip. And we have lots of different knuckles here. If I just remove, let me see if you can even see, let me move this back a little bit. Okay, so if I'm just gonna remove this top knuckle, that top piece here, that's where I'm going to attach the flashpoint light right there. So if I needed a boom, so to go across, like right now I'm using my boom system to do an overhead video as part of this video, I now have the knuckle and the boom to attach. This is awesome. All right. All right, the last piece of the puzzle here is the new light. This is the flashpoint the Explorer 600 Pro TTL. Now I already own one of these for the past three years. I've always typically done a one light setup for my on location portraits. If I needed a second light for those occasions, I actually have a piece where I can um, use a speed light for fill light if needed. So let me show you what that looks like really quick. It works with the Flashpoint system. This is for Canon. So if I had my Canon light, this is the 580EX2. Um, but this is the receiver that I have and you can just attach your speed light to this piece and it will work with the transponder for the Flashpoint system. So this is what I've used if I needed just a little kick of a fill light. Um, but now I have my second light, so this might not be needed. If I needed a third light, I could use this system. So it's great that everything can kind of add on with each other. Okay. All right, back to the lights. Here we go. It comes in this great bag. Now, when I'm traveling on location to do portraits, I don't bring the light in this bag. For me, I've, it's worked where I've been able to add it into my Pelican bag. I have a larger Pelican bag, so I could add that one light with my lenses and my camera body, and I'm good to go. Now that I have two, if I had a two light setup, I'm thinking I would put the two lights into my smaller Pelican bag, and then that might be a way to kind of travel, just to minimize, I'm always thinking of logistics, just to minimize all the gear you have to bring in to a photo shoot. Okay, so here we go. We have a manual here. So this is always great if you need to reference, if you want more referencing material, they have a great handout. Um, but I love this light because of the mobility. It's wireless. It comes, here's, so here is the light here, all nice and new. It has this great grip that I've shown in that previous video where you can direct the light. A um, lot of different little plastic components that we will pop off. So do that in a second. This is the battery here. It's always, I'm not sure if it's going to be charged when I put this on. So we'll see if it's gonna be charged, but it's really simple to put together you have those four pins on here that are gonna go into the four slots. So I, I start high and then um, on the bottom, this is where your on and off is. And this, we just move this around the little handle here and that's where you can add it to your light. So you're going to loosen this up so then you can seed the C-stand on the top, okay. And I'll just add this here. So other things in the box, you'll notice that four of these white circles here where we're gonna put the bulb are raised a little bit more. That's where we're lining up 
and then pushing down to make sure it's secure. Oh, nice. Okay, and I seat it all the way down till it's flush, and now the bulb is in place. So I will, so if we wanted to pack this up, we're done with our shoot, we can take our cap here. This is also great that it's silver inside so it can be a modifier. Line it back up to those three little pieces. I push down and I twist until we hear that click. Then we take this cover and put that on top, add it to our bag and we're ready to go. Now that that's attached, other items that are in the bag, we have a hand, we have a strap for the actual bag and this is how we will charge the battery. It's a great battery setup. You will have the lights on the back so when it's all solid green, you know that it's charged. You will see it blinking, you'll have red, you'll have blinking green. Once it's solid green, you know it's charged. Where to charge it? So at this end, we're obviously going to attach the plug to this side. This end, there is a port, if I flip the light over, there is a port on the very top that moves over and that is where you attach, you would obviously remove the battery, have it to the side. So let me remove the battery. then attach to the top and then go and charge. Okay, so that is what's in the kit for the light. We covered everything there. Let's get it on the C stand and show setting up with two lights. So I just replaced this piece was on the back of the modifier and we were putting the modifier together i should have noticed that this piece was still on so there are three little screws i removed the screws and i started with the little screwdriver that they provided one screw was not a problem um, but i did have issues with the other two i happened to have this other screwdriver on hand, I'll look this up and add it to all the items below. This I believe is for like eyeglasses. So it worked great. So now that we have this Boeing mount onto the modifier, you can see there's like three little teeth. These little square teeth will now feed into the light. So once I do that, I push in, twist, and you'll hear that little click. Okay, so let's get these lights situated so we can, I'm just gonna turn this all the way around. <clears throat> I do like this grip handle that they provide. It's, it's very nice. Okay. So as I mentioned before, I already have a Flashpoint 600 Pro and that is on channel, that is my A main light. So A meaning this is the transponder that you will have that you can sit on top of your camera, which I am using for this video. And when you turn this on, you can control the modifier if you want, I mean, you can control the modeling light if you want the modeling light on and off, which is great. But on top here, you'll see all the different channels. You will have channel A, I'm just gonna click on it, channel A through E. So this main light is on channel A. I have a second light here, and that's when I've used my speed light for fill, but we're gonna channel this one for B so I'm gonna turn on the light and we're gonna play with the settings to match it up to B. Okay, so first we're going to turn the light on, which is that large circle below. I'm just gonna turn that on, see if the battery's charged. It is. All right, look at this, first time on. So it's showing manual. It's showing that it's A, 121 over 256 all of those things we're gonna make some changes to. Okay, 
So first, when I move to the front of the light, you can see there's no light showing. The, mod the modeling light is off. So you can see right here, it says off, modeling light is off. If you want that on, you have this little light bulb here, and a fan will probably kick on. Maybe this is more silent, that'd be nice. Um, and it's at 20%. If you want the output more, you can just use the dial. Oh, here we go. Hold, and then use the dial to increase the light. There's the fan kicking back on, kicking on. Okay, so then when I move, you can see our light is on. Okay, so now we have all these other modes and we want to change the channel. So the mode here, let's go to the mode and go to TTL. So there's multi, there's TTL. So now we're gonna be working with that transponder and there, the lights are gonna be working together. Channel one, but I want it to be not A, but I want it to be B. Channel one, B, you can see the fan is kicked on, the modeling light is on, and we should be good to go. This is also gonna show you how much battery life that you have left on the light. On the transponder, we have A and we have B. So we can control the light when this sits on top of the camera. If I want to have both lights at max power, they be double zero. If I then want to modify B, I can just click on B on my camera and then be moving this around to change the output. Okay, this is gonna be so helpful. I can't wait to test this out. All right, so I have my two lights set up. I have my brand new Flashpoint 600 Pro TTL with my three-year-old 600 TTL, and this is gonna be a great add-on to my kit. But now that I have a two light set up, the 38 inch is my main light. My 28 inch is going to act as like a fill light, a secondary light. So this light is on channel A, which I have set on the light and on my transponder on top of my camera, which is one of my favorite features that I can now still be engaging with my client and I can control all the output of the light just by the transponder on top. This was a big game changer in my, in my whole process on photo shoot day. Okay, so when I have it set to 0.0, .0 that's full power on both of them. So if I go to channel B, I'm just clicking on the actual face of it and I wanted to bring this down to maybe like, let's bring it down one stop. Then when I take a shot, take a shot of this. Ooh, you could see both firing at the same time. This is going to be so great. Um, and we can see in the picture, I'm gonna take flip around and take a picture this way. Let's see, so this is how I'm normally this is at full blast. Okay, they're definitely sinking, which is great. This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to get out on location and start using both lighting. When I do, I'm sure I'll be making some additional videos, but let me know if you have any questions along the way. I wanted to show you the gear, how to set up, and then how to pair the two lights on the transponder. As you can see, pretty simple. I'm ready to go out on location and start shooting. All right, hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.